Маргов и есть ты. Ты не можешь сбежать от себя самого, как не смог сбежать от себя самого я. Все это ведет к очень конкретному результату. Заката не будет. Будет перерождение. They... They made the game more about seeing the other player first. Essentially. It's still good, it's just like... They made a lot of bad choices. Listened to the wrong people about things. Did their own bad decisions. Just watching those clips makes me miss old Tarkov. Those clips would have been horrible looking if otherwise. It would have been me slide like ice skating a little bit more to the left or right or something like that before I got some headshots. Even if I could, I probably would have died in those clips to be honest. The, the weight system was objectively bad for the game. <laughs> Inertia is fine. Weight system, horrible. By objective, I mean it, it, it completely goes against the risk versus reward cycle of the game and punishes players for engaging the gameplay loop, which is just... The complete opposite of what you want a game to do. Ah! Suka! Yeah! Bro! That's a, bro, what is going on, Habibi? I'm playing from Denmark! Yo, 3k! Uh, excuse moi excuse, excuse me sir Ex uh, hello i mean bro i like to control my character you know i like to be in fully in charge of my character i don't like getting stuck in weird animations and 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 the inertia so like making me take extra steps and and feel like there's input delay on my keyboard it all feels like garbage good luck on the raids today jesse Just had a technical update what did they do it's worse it's like it's like your shoes are tied and you're just taking little steps like this well no shit you're taking little steps like this you're gonna fall over you know what i mean but anybody with a brain would take a step around the corner with a wide stance and you wouldn't fucking fall over man i wouldn't like stumble over a couple more steps to hear what the big streamers and youtubers think about the game but we never actually listen to the rest of the community and what they think about the game so i decided to go into a couple of scav raids and ask random players some questions about the game and we got some interesting answers that i want you guys to see enjoy three years maybe four two webs two webs <laughs> this is my first wipe uh, four wipes no I think like December of 2017 picked it up for Christmas because one of my friends told me to get it. He actually quit playing the game like two months in, and so I've just <laughs> been on my own the whole time. But I learned the ropes pretty quick. Since December 2022, so almost a year now. Uh, six years. Oh my god. About four, four and a half years. I like to play uh, on Scaf. As a PMC. Why? I hate player scouts myself. <laughs> uh, I like playing both. Mm, okay. but I prefer playing scout if I want uh, good money. Good money. Uh, scout is obviously more rewarding because people are running without gear and AVTs, and it's kind of painful to run meta gear. So, yeah, scout's my choice. Well, I think they both have their own benefits, but scab is usually more fun. Why do you think that? Because there's just more opportunities to interact with other people and stuff, and like, you know, you can just do crazier shit because there's less risk involved. Uh, I mean, as a scab, it's more chill. Like, as a PMC, you're like, oh, fucking good, oh, fucking good, noises is over it. As a scab, it's like a day in the park. 
less anxiety attacks and uh yeah so the game is more enjoyable as the scav yeah literally scav life it's why i have seven ramp <laughs> i have actually more raids on my scav than my pmc this PMC. warp has been a this warp has been a scav i think i've enjoyed a lot more but other warps it's been fucking pmc fucking right. Right. Whoa, 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 chill, chill. Yo. pmc for sure way more fun why because I can pick my gear and I can do quests properly. Scabs, I get put in. I mean, scabs have their fun element. Like you have like an underdog element when trying to kill PMCs, but mm -hmm. they're used for like supplementing the main, the main part of the game. Um, I've enjoyed scabs more this time because it just feels it's just risk free. I don't know. And when you're running streets, it's just, it's just easy. You know, there's fucking loots everywhere. Uh, wait, let me think. Let me think. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, all game, it's perfectly for me. But uh, oh, one one thing, uh, the death thing is terrible. What is it? Uh, the synchronization. Oh, the the desync. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a tough question, man. Um, Take your time. For a bit? We have like 28 minutes. If I could change a thing, I would remove the perception skill. Oh. It's just unfair um, to get an advance just because you play the game. You should have a base hearing increase and a nerf or a remove of the scale. I would go back in time and I wouldn't write it on Unity. I'd make it on some other game engine <laughs> and uh, change the recoil or something. What do you think about the next recoil change? Maybe you should ask that guy. I don't know. He, he, he's fighting someone. He's recoiling. Yeah, it seems like he's not able to hit his shot, so that, <laughs> that's pretty much my opinion on that. It's, I uh, I think the recoil change could be good, but it could also take a lot of players out if it's really bad. But I don't think BSG is at a point where they're going to put in like silly stuff that doesn't work properly anymore, because they, they know the damage that does. Probably the way it's coded or the engine, because there's a lot of content just locked behind the engine itself or the developers' code because it's pretty much spaghetti code and uh, it's literally just the game engine to be honest I think we would have like way more content if just the engine wasn't as bad as it is now I know there's the new Unity update coming out but yeah that's probably the main thing I'd change I take founding raid out of the game I would make equipment worth more on resale back to traders so that there's actually an incentive to pvp because right now pvp has been taken out of the game years gone by you can pvp all the time but now you can't really like i'd make the items worth more so that pvp is worth more i'd remove found in raid for the game as well um so that if you want to be a uh, pvp main or you want to go and do quests you can play whatever way that you like and you don't have to worry about it but yeah that's my answer that's what i change i preferred it before Inertia was brought in. I, I do like at the beginning of the wipe, I do find it quite rough when your skills are high enough to make it easy to move about. Um, but then obviously then you have the the big players running around all the time. But I'm I'm not sure whether it's worth it in terms of uh, getting rid of inertia. I think that, I think it balances out whether having it and not having it. Uh, I'd love to see two types of arena: one with one with inertia, one without inertia. Um, I think arena could be quite good for this game. I think as long as it doesn't connect into the main game too heavily. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think inertia was a good thing overall. Uh, I think it could have been implemented better though. Yeah, I agree with that. I think it's just I am um, played in the oh, I can't remember what it's called. Like the, the the beta testing thing that they have, the other version, the, the closed servers. And I remember playing that literally one raid with an airship when it came before it had been released. And oh, mate, it was rough. Um, I'd love to go back and see what it's like without it. I meet uh, cheaters on the lab. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. When? Like last week? Uh, no. Yesterday. Oh, yesterday? Day, every day. I don't know, but uh, I. I think yes, but it's not 100%. Um, yeah, I was with a mate in a raid and got yeah, killed and he got reported afterwards and then so. It's not often though, um, but yeah, happens. Not lately. 
but yeah, I, I've gotten killed by him a few times. Not as much as the streamers say, though, definitely. Actually, uh, this being my second wipe, last wipe, I got no one banned by reporting them. Um, this wipe, I've gotten around five or more people banned, so I would say 100%, yeah, I've, I've played against more cheaters this wipe. <laughs> yeah, I have died to, uh, in the past week, I've died to at least three flying cheaters. Uh, two of which were in the same day and one was the following afternoon, so probably some website release cheats that afternoon. And I've been railed through walls two or three times, but most of the deaths are just because you don't know where they are. Not, um, not because I think they're cheating, just because you don't know when they are, but definitely I've had some, and even the report system has told me that I was accurate with a few of them. So. I always feel I get a lot less cheaters than other people do. I don't know why, maybe it's my playstyle doesn't invite cheaters to come and you know, raid hack. Um, but I've had, what, maybe 10 to 15 since the beginning of the wipe that have had come back as, you know, BSG have said thank you for reporting it. Um, so I, I don't really think I have that much of an issue with that. I don't think, it doesn't ruin the game for me. I can live with the amount of cheaters that I'd be, It'd be great if there weren't any, but it doesn't change how I feel about the game, really. Modding, um, or weapons, maybe. I don't know, man. Nothing, I guess. Nothing. <laughs> oh, just the guns, like, I guess. Modding oh, of the guns. The modding of the guns? Okay. And uh, shooting. I like this. My... You, you like the gameplay? Every... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love. I like the gameplay. I prefer about the streets, not uh, woods or shorelines, not furry maps. But I, I play. First thing, I like the detail the devs put in some rooms or areas, especially on this map, like. There are two sex dungeons. I think that's kind of a nice uh, jam, or it's a funny thing just to implement. <laughs> Variety of guns. Voiping with other scavs. It's always fun. Just team up, have a random heist, go somewhere. That's making the game pretty enjoyable. I love the adrenaline you get from certain fights and how engaging they can be. Like, no other game offers that. Like, when you go into dorms with an MP7 and there's like four dudes against you, it's really fun. The problem is not everybody gets to experience that because they have gear fear and like, they're, they're afraid to push and WQ, but, but if you WQ, it's, it's usually really fun. I love how critical the community is of it. And they, they kind of like put the devs in this pressure chamber that creates the perfect environment for their for them to work like really hard on the game because i feel like a lot of devs get like way too much slack and the third thing is i like the amount of guns and like how intricate everything is and how like the knowledge you get on the attachments and stuff directly transfers to real life so, like you could go to a gun store and ask for certain parts from tarkov and you you could build a real gun just the core concept of it from being one the gunplay and probably the flow of the game like uh, there's no other game like it as like as realistic as the game is obviously the all the guns etc so yeah uh, there's no other game like this this is a completely unique game when it comes to looter shooters um, I think it paved the way for a lot of games I think the gunplay in this game is very good and I think the real world adjustability of all of the firearms that you have in the game and how you can kind of work with them that's uh, that's my three I love the realism. Uh, I love how in depth the game is, and I'd probably say, yeah, I I, I enjoy you know the the mechanics of the gun building. I, I love that. You don't get that in any other game. You get some sort of system in most games, but nothing is in depth as this. I think I think it's great.